In this video, we are going to solve the 19th question of HackerRank SQL preparation. So the problem statement says that there are two points P1 and P2 on a 2D plane. So point P1 has positions A and C and P2 has positions B and D where AB are the respective minimum and maximum values of northern latitude and CD are the respective minimum and maximum values of western longitude. What you have to do is you have to find the Euclidean distance between these two points up to four decimal places. So what is an Euclidean distance? Here is the Wikipedia page, you can read it. But what we you need to understand is this picture. The point P and Q and this is the Euclidean distance between these two points. So these are the positional parameters P1, P2, Q1 and Q2. So Euclidean distance will be square of this distance plus square of this distance and under root. So this is the formula under root Q1 minus P1 to the power 2 plus Q2 minus P2 to the power 2. Use this formula, use SQRT to find the square root, use power to find the square power. Pause this video and try to do it yourself. After that, we will do it together. I believe you must have solved the question, but if you have not solved the question yet, you can solve it with me. So I will use select round, I will use square root SQRT. Now let's break this so that it will be clean. So I will use power now because I need maximum and minimum with a power of 2. So max of latitude n minus min of latitude n. Now I need it to be the power of 2. So what we have here is power of maximum latitude n minus minimum latitude n square. So this will give me this value, the square of q1 minus p1. Now I will add this value with this one, q2 minus p2 to the power square. I will use this again. I'll just change it a little bit. So I will need longitude here longitude w and longitude w again. So now we have this and the square root will give me the square root. But I have to do is round this value up to four decimal places. Now I will use from station. Let's hope this code will work. I will run it. As you can see, we have passed the test case, so we can submit the code. We will submit the code. And we have successfully submitted the code. Now we can move to the next question.